guys, so today is my last installment in the Little Mix Warrior Queen makeup series. Um, I just want to say I'm really sorry to any of you who have bought tickets for the North American leg of their tour since it got cancelled. I'm really, really sorry that happened to you guys. I'm sure there's more to the story than we know, but I don't know. It really sucks. I'm really sorry. But for those of you that were asking for Perry's look, this was the last one that I had to do, and I decided to do it today. Oh, and also for my fellow Americans, happy 4th of July, because today is the 4th of July. So, Independence Day. Yeah, USA. Um, but yeah, so that is all, and we will just go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Okay, let me just say I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little bit groggy during this voiceover, but that's because it is almost 3 a.m. here in L.A., and I am just working away trying to get this edited and uploaded for you guys. Anyway, continuing on. So I am just starting off with my foundation. I am using the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation in Kareem Ivory, and I'm using that with my Zoeva Flap Top Kabuki Brush and just buffing that in. Now I'm going to be using my MAC Select Cover Up Concealer for under my eyes. I have read on their makeup artist's Instagram that he does use this concealer on Perry a lot. So I thought I would just go with a the theme and use that today. So I am now just going to be priming my eyelids because we're going to be using a lot of bold, bold colors. And because we're using a lot of bold colors and we're using them all over our face, I want to make sure that my face is really nice and powdered just so these shadows that we use later on are a little bit easier to blend. So speaking of blending, I'm going to fluff a little bit of my Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer. Um, just underneath the cheekbones and also up on the cheekbones, kind of acting a little bit like a blush. And then I'm going to fluff some on my nose just for a little color and then also underneath the jaw just to add a little structure there. And this is where the fun color comes into play. I am using Ben Nye's Soleil Red Rouge Powder, and I am just going to take that on a fluffy brush, something that will help you to blend easily, um, but that's also going to cover a lot of surface area in a small amount of time just so it doesn't take forever. So I'm using this Sony Kashuk contouring brush and I am just fluffing that all over my forehead, getting that main area covered first. Um, it's going to take a couple layers to make sure that this is nice and blended and that it's not too patchy. It is hard to get bold colors like this on without being a little patchy so you just really have to work with it and blend it out, add more color, blend it out and add a little bit more. So now I am going in with a smaller fluffy brush just to get into the areas that I want a little more detailed and that I don't want to cover as much space. Um, so I'm just using a small fluffy brush for that and pinpointing it exactly where I want to. And where you want it to go is just kind of right underneath that lower lash line. Now I'm going to take Max Sketch, which is a beautiful deep red wine shade. And um, in the photos with Perry, it looked like they had just covered her eyebrows completely with the red. My eyebrows are too dark for that and show through anyway, so I thought I would give them a little bit of structure and use a berry color because I thought it would blend really well since we're using it also on our eyes. Um, if you're a blonde though, feel free to just cover up your eyebrows with the red color. It'll work beautifully. 
Now I'm going to take a black gel liner and I'm just placing that all along my lash line and then I'm going to blend it out with a fluffy brush. This is the pencil brush from Zoeva. And then I'm going to take Sketch again for MAC and I am going to place that over the black gel liner. Just blending it a little f upwards, just really diffusing the color out a bit but just keeping it mainly to the lash line, maybe about halfway up the lid if you really want to smoke it out. And then I'm going to take the black gel liner again and I'm going to place that on my inner waterline and also below the lashes, blend that out with um, my pencil brush again and then I'm going to take sketch and really diffuse the color pretty low down underneath my lash line. Now I'm going to take my fluffy brush that I was using before with the red and I'm just going to take whatever leftover red pigment I have and blend that into the sketch that we just use also just to give a nice little gradation of color and you're just going to want to bring it back so it all aligns together with itself and then I'm going to apply a couple generous coats of mascara just to make the lashes pop. I'm going to take nylon from MAC and I'm just going to place that on the inner corner and I'm going to bring it down slightly into my under eye area just because it looked like there was a little bit of illumination that was just kind of extending down into that area and I think it really works since we're using so much bold colors on the face I think it just kind of helps to soften the look up a little. So now I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk as I have in every other tutorial for this series and I am just aligning the dots starting from the bridge of my nose and just bringing it out on each side trying to stay as straight of a line as possible. And now I'm kind of just going back and touching up certain areas and just kind of blending things out a little bit more seamlessly. You're just going to really have to work with this look and make sure that you're altering it where it needs to. So for the lips, she was wearing a really, really subtle um, matte nude shade and I decided to just use a lip liner for this. So I'm using Max Boldly Bare, which I thought was a pretty, very comparable color to what she was wearing. So I'm just lining my lips and then also filling them in. So lastly, we are going to add a aqua line underneath our bottom lip and extending down on our chest. For this, I am using my Wolf paints. They are a water-based makeup paint, so you just activate the color with water. And I am using my Zoeva Cream Shadow Brush for that, and I am just drawing the line from the bottom lip straight down onto my neck. And this is the completed Perry look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this series. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will talk to you all very soon. Have a great day, guys. I can't wait until it comes out on DVD so I can watch it in my apartment and get a real good cry off of it because I can't cry as well in front of other people. Something about my cold black heart that just doesn't let me.